Hackney was a place that, when I was growing up, I couldn't wait to get out of. I hated it, you know. Um, 15, I left home and, and uh, I went abroad and I travelled the world and I caused carnage in my, in my way, you know. And I ended up coming back here two years ago and really sorting my life out. And, um, and I actually love Hackney now. I set up a fashion label called Nina Baker um, over two years ago. And I named it after my mum because I've put her through a lot of heartache over the years. This is the E5 kimono, different styles, E9 kimono. So it's really inspired around my mum and the East End and I like that little concept to name it after places in Hackney. <laughs> this is my baby, it's a one-off piece and it's 345 pounds and it's sequins and linings and I love that limited edition feel so when someone buys this they're the only person wearing it but no one's bought it yet. <laughs> I, I do markets, Chatsworth Road Market is my main one, um, Portobello Road I, I go sometimes in the summer and Sunday Up Market um, down Brick Lane. I met my lovely friend Mila who has this shop in um, Green Lanes called Freak Chic and I have a rail here. This is Dirty Dorothy. Um, we had to take her arms off because she keeps getting undressed. So <laughs> she's the star of, um, of Freak Chic. She's really cheap. Yeah, cheap and dirty. Is that part of me that's like, God, wouldn't it be great if Nina Baker was on everyone's lips and you know, I had a whole collection going down London Fashion Week. I'd be lying if I never thought about that. But you know, it's a dream. But dreams do come true because I'm, I'm doing this and this was a dream. So now we're going to go to Leytonstone um, to my manufacturer, Murat. Um, he's got a business there called Face of London. I'll show you where the magic happens. I can still do the running man. <laughs> I still got it at 41. I mean, my favourite part um, is picking the material. I'm like a kid in the candy shop. So this is my pattern that I use. I don't have all the tools to do it at home, so I come here, cut the material. If it, say I was going to make 10 pieces, to cut 10 pieces, it would take me about two hours and then I'll just hand it over to one of the machinists and they sew it up for me. But well, it's going to be really busy this year, very busy. Um, and I just can't wait to get started. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.